A massive fire completely destroys a factory and warehouse in Chicago Heights. The flame went for hours this morning and the smoke could be seen for miles. Nate Rogers live with the latest tonight. Nate. Yeah, that's right, guys. I mean, it's still no word yet on what actually caused this fire, although it was struck out about six hours in. Um, crew stayed on the scene for an additional six more hours working to put out hot spots. This is cell phone footage from the ground taken just a few blocks away. Here's a shot from Sky Fox, the roof no more, and a charred shell of a building. Finally, drone video capturing all sides and the magnitude of this blaze. It was mind-blowing. It was really an intense plume. Crews battled raging flames for more than six hours. The extra alarm fire assembling firefighters from multiple agencies, several buildings engulfed at the same time. We haven't had this kind of thing here in, in the Heights for a long time. The fire erupted just before six this morning. The Morgan Lee Warehouse along Washington is a third generation business specializing in custom furniture, fixtures and more. Their website says they just completed purchase of the property. David Zaber grew up in the area and has several family members and friends that live nearby. This was the second largest concentration of industries in the world, from Gary to South Chicago, here to Chicago Heights. And in the 70s, jobs moved out. And so we've been challenged here, and we're finally starting to get, to get, get it back together. And then you see something like this. The company posted a statement on its website saying, in part, quote, while the damage of the fire is massive, the most important thing is that all of our people are safe and accounted for. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. Investigation, Illinois Fire Marshal now taking over. Now the city does tell us fortunately there were no injuries in this massive fire, also no damage to surrounding property. City officials tell us they will have um, police and fire officials continue to monitor that scene and be on staff there for the next 48 hours. In Chicago Heights, I'm Nate Rogers, Fox 32 Chicago.